Hey there, this is Stacy. Today I'm going to show you some things that I got in the past week. And I don't know what is with me, but I have been just going completely and totally crazy buying makeup. And I think it's just a way to kind of relieve stress and it's not a real expensive habit. So um, anyway, I just thought I would share my goodies with you. So the first place I went was to Nordstrom. And I went by the Bobbi Brown counter and started with... Um, Oops, let me open it here. I haven't even actually taken it out of the box at all. Um, some of this stuff, just because I wasn't ready yet. Um, anyway, I got the Bobbi Brown, um, just one of her palettes, to put in a bunch of my products. So that way I can have everything all in one place when I'm traveling. So I got that. And I think they're $10. It doesn't matter what size. I think they come in fours and, I don't know, what is this, a six? Um, no matter what the size was, it was $10, so I just went ahead and got that one. Um, I don't think I quite have enough to fill it. Well, actually, I probably will soon, because I had ordered off the Bobbi Brown website last week um, when it was 20% off for friends and family. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, um, I always put different sales and stuff that I know about on there. I'll retweet and all that kind of stuff, um, different sales that are mentioned to me, um, as well as some that I have found on my own. And um, so if you like to find your bargains, I recommend you follow me on Twitter. Um, anyway, okay, then I got a blush from Bobbi Brown. I thought that was just a gorgeous color, and it is the Desert Pink. Real pretty. Go with my bright lips here. Okay, so that's what I got at Nordstrom, and then I did check out the Chanel, uh, the new Coco Rouge shines, lip shines, but, um, everybody that was working there was busy, so I thought I'd go back and do that another time. There were some real pretty colors. Then I went to Sephora and did my 15% off, that VIB 15% off. I guess it's for everybody, but a 15% off is what they're doing now, and it runs for a couple more days. And, um, of course, when I got home with all these goodies, then I had seen some other people do some videos and mentioned some things that I thought I wanted. So, yeah, I went online and ordered more. Crazy, I know. So then I, um, here's what I got at the Sephora here. I got a Laura Mercier in this beautiful little container and it is called cashmere and it is an eyeshadow and it's just a pretty matte color I thought that would be really pretty for just all over the lid just a real pretty simple color just I thought it'd be nice for you know even if you're just going by the pool and you just kind of want just a wash of color so that your lids don't look um, you know you don't see any kind of veins or anything through your lids um, I just thought that would be a beautiful color and it's um it's just, it's called cashmere. I think it's so pretty. So I got that. Then I went um, to the Lancome area, and I've been using a free sample that I had gotten for quite some time now in the under eye concealer. And the color that I had been using was called Beige 3, and it was just a neutral color that they have. And they actually don't really have that many colors for their under eye concealer. I think there's maybe just five or six colors. And I wanted to go and... Um, just try a slightly lighter color. So the color that I got is called Claire 2. And this is what the product looks like. Just that Lancome waterproof under eye concealer. I love this product. And um, lately what I've been doing is just putting it on my fingertip and really just kind of patting it into the area down here below my eyes. Just trying to camouflage some of that hollowness that I have. So I don't know if you can see the color right there. And, of course, I'm going to put it on my hand, but it wouldn't be the same as it would be on my face. But it's just right here. So I have really enjoyed this color. I think it's better matched for me than that beige 3 that I had been wearing, which was fine, but I just wanted to go slightly lighter. So I got that. Then I picked up this Dior Addict. I just could not resist this lipstick. Um, and the color is called um, Singu... Lipstick Singulaire? Yeah, I guess it is. Number 465 Singulaire. That's what it looks like. Um, and it comes in one of these cute little containers, kind of like another one that I have, another Dior Addict one. But this one, now this color looks absolutely crazy here in the tube. It looks just totally hot pink, and it's not what I have on my lips right now. Um, I'll show you that in a moment. But that's what it looks like. But it's more of one of those sheer ones. So it's really, really pretty on. And of course, with your natural lip color underneath, 
um, you know, it kind of changes some. So love it, love it, love it. I put that one on the second I walked out of the store and spent the rest of the day walking around the mall in that one. So that was what I got at Nordstrom, aside from gifts that I'm not going to show, that I purchased for some friends. And then, um, let's see, I went to Macy's and talked to the Laura Geller gal. I was so excited to finally get some Laura Geller in person. So, the first product that I got, which is not anything I thought I was going to get. I thought I was going to go in and get um, just like a bronzer. I kind of wanted a bronzer without any shimmer or anything in it. And the girl there convinced me that, um, you know, as we age, we do need a little bit of just like some glow on the face, not, you know, so you're glowy, not sparkly and shiny like that. So anyway, I didn't go, I was just going to maybe try the blush and brighten or the, uh, or I'm sorry, the bronze and brighten. And then the other one was, um, gosh, the balance and brighten was what I wanted to look at, which is kind of more of an all over thing that you wear more as your foundation. Um, nope, didn't do it ended up getting this. It's called Blush and Brighten, and the color is called Sun Sweat. And it is just beautiful. I am in love with this. And it's just got, um, I guess, a little bit of shimmery, you know, or maybe even quite a bit. But it is so pretty, and she just really convinced me that this was what I needed. And I love it. I am wearing it today. Um, I'm just going to run my hand there over it. And this is what it looks like. Um, of course, you can dip into one color more than another if you prefer which I think I just kind of got a lot of that bronzy color all over some of the other part of it, but I'm going to just put it here in my hand. And just putting it on made me realize I got to have that. It's just got such a pretty um, glowy effect, and it's probably not going to pick up here too well, but I think a little bit. And it looks real orange in my hand. I don't think it really does on my face. Or I know it doesn't on my face because I have it on and I am not orange. So I got that, and then I said, okay, that's all I'm getting today. Um, there were a couple other products that I saw that I liked, but they were out of stock on a lot. I think they had recently had an event there. So um, I said, okay, that's all I need today. And she said, well, you're already at, I think, $29.50, so if you want to spend 20 if you spend, you know, a little bit more, if you get to $50, I'm going to give you a gift. Well, who can resist a gift? Actually, she showed me the gift first, <laughs> and then I thought, okay, I'm having that gift. So I got an eyeshadow, and actually, I don't have it on today. Um, a couple days ago, I, I wore it like two or three days in a row, thinking that I was going to film a video. That way I could show you, and of course, I didn't end up filming the video. But anyway, this is it right here. Whoops. And this color is called Pink Icing, and it is so pretty. I wouldn't think to put those colors together, but when you swirl them together, they're so just beautiful. This is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? It kind of comes out to be more of a taupey color. I guess just that combination of colors, kind of a, a taupey lavender color. Love it. Love it. Love it. And there it is there. And again, it was just such a pretty color for just an all-over lid color. And then I got my box with my freebies in it. It came like this. And it wasn't advertised or anything that they had a giveaway going on. I think maybe they had these left over from something else. And again, this was at Macy's. So, or maybe they kind of do it at their discretion. And it's funny because the colors that are in here are some that I was kind of looking at anyway. I was trying to decide actually between the blush that I showed you already and this one. And this one is called Pink Grapefruit which I'm sure a lot of people have seen before. And it's another beautiful color. Gosh, I don't have clean fingers to put this on, but there's the color there on my ring finger here. And uh, find the spot on my hand for it. Right there. So, another gorgeous color. And the other product that it came with is the Baked Eyeshadow Duo in Fresco Nude and Baroque Brown. So that's what those two colors look like. Kind of a pink color and then a bronzy brown. And then it also came with a brush, which, oops, I am not thrilled with at all. I don't know. I don't really care for Laura Geller's brushes. And so it's just a little brush to use some of those products with. It's just rough to me. It's not soft and, um, I don't know, it just came in the box like this. So I won't be using that. So there's that. Then I went on Saturday over to 
um, Ulta because I didn't really need to, of course, but I had gone over there. I'd seen a bunch of stuff was 40% off and I knew the NYX was 40% off and I wanted to get um, a couple gifts for some people that I know can't get NYX. Um, so I picked up this one thing for myself also, and it's the Super Fat Marker. I kind of wanted the skinny one, but when I got home and played with this one, I thought this one was pretty cool after all. So it just comes like this. It's just an eyeliner marker in carbon black. And it looks like this. And it's just so easy to handle, you know, in your hand for, you know, lining. And um, I'm going to put it here in my hand. But you can really do it as thin as you want or, you know, thicker if you like thicker. But I just thought this was going to be a great marker. I have not used it yet on my eyes. Um, I've been playing with lots of other things. So I picked that up, and at 40% off was just why I got it. And then I happened to notice that they had the Naked palettes in stock. So I had to get it. I finally broke down and bought myself the Naked palette. So that's the colors. I'm sure everybody's seen them. And of course they're similar to all the other colors that I've already shown you. I think we all kind of do that. But this is the first Naked palette that I've gotten that has brush instead of that double-ended um, liner pencil. So I used that, actually I used this yesterday. And I really love it. I finally, like I said, I broke down and got it for myself. I had probably bought five of them in the past. I gave one to each of my daughters, one to my mother, and then I think I had two giveaways that had naked palettes. So loving this product. If you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. Then I was over by the Tarte people, the Tarte area, and they had their Tarte, um, like their makeup artists there that day, and didn't need it. Excuse me, but I picked up 6,000% moisture increase is what it says. Lip Surgeon's Natural Lip Stain. It comes in a box like this, and it's from Tarte. And it says, High Performance Natural Lip Surgeon's Technology. And I probably played and played and played for I don't know how long um, to pick the color that I wanted. And the color that I did end up with is called Charmed, and that is what I'm wearing. I don't think it really looks as bright in person, but maybe just with my lighting here. But it just looks like this. It's very similar to my watermelon one that I got from Clinique that, I don't know, I probably didn't need this, but oh well, I got it anyway. It's real pretty. It has the twist up here, so, um, you know, it's not a sharpening kind. You just twist up and more product comes out, but it's real pretty. And here it is on my hand. And so you can wear it kind of sheer or like I have it on. I just kind of kept going over it and over it to make it um, just kind of stand out more. So I'm really liking that. And then they gave me some little samples of their Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess. This one's their matte bronzer. So it's just like it's like samples on cards. And then he gave me the light, Lights Camera Lashes sample. And um, I actually do have that on today. You can see. So, and it was kind of funny because he said to me, oh my gosh, you have beautiful lashes already. And I told him, you know, I've been using the Abaji Elastilash. And when I was at Ulta a couple weeks ago, the Smashbox artists were there. And the guy told me the same thing. Oh, my gosh, you've got incredible eyelashes. And um, that was just kind of funny. Uh, we had gone there. My daughter was going to prom, and the Smashbox artist was there. And he did her makeup, and it was just stunning. So anyway, I got that sample as well. And let's see, one more thing that I've gotten is um, for my um, doctor's office. The Skin SkinCeuticals, it looks like this. It's called Sin Skin SkinCeuticals Sheer Defense UV Defense Sheer Physical UV Defense SPF 50. That's what the box looks like right there. And it's just a new sunscreen that I got. And I know that a lot of people have talked about this um, kind of in some books that I read and I've read it um, on my old dermatologist website and all, that people really like this one because it really gives a really good sheer finish um, for putting on your face under your makeup. I want to say it was probably about $30. And it has the titanium dioxide 6% and zinc oxide 5%. So I have been wearing this under my makeup, and, um, and I really like the way it feels on my face. So I've been using that on my face and my obagi on my chest and neck and then my other obagi on my arms and you know, just kind of putting it in different areas to um, get the best protection that I feel like I need. Um, 
I'm, I mean, I probably could put things everywhere, but, you know, why are you going to spend so much money and, you know, when this is specifically sheer and goes great on the face under makeup. So um, I don't want to waste it on my arms and all. I use my other stuff for that. So I picked that up as well. So that's all I'm going to show in this video. I'm going to do a separate video. I have gotten so much. Um, I've done, a, you know, another, well, not a swap. I had sent a friend some things and she um, felt the need to send some things back to me. So I'm going to show you that as well as some things I'm expecting here in the mail in the next day or two. I wanted to update you on, um, let's see, gosh, I'm already over 15 minutes. I just wanted to thank everyone still. So many people send me notes um, just asking, how's my mom doing? You know, she's got melanoma, and it has been a very tough battle. Um, she's okay. Today she was starting back to work. Um, I wish she didn't have to work. Um, but, you know, for insurance purposes, you know, sometimes you just have to do that. So she was starting back to work today. She had surgery, let's see, it was March 18th. So it's been a month already, a month from today, a month ago today. And um, she did a part of her stomach removed because the cancer had moved there um, to the outer wall of her stomach. So it's really been a very big adjustment for her. Um, she's basically having to eat the lifestyle of a gastric bypass patient because she, you know, her stomach is smaller now. And she's probably lost over 20 pounds. But, um, so she's had, has that aspect, she's diabetic, so she's got that aspect where she's got to watch her sugars and carbs and all that kind of stuff, and, um, you know, being a cancer patient, just trying to hopefully eat, um, you know, I keep telling her no animal products, animal products are not good for you, you know, for, especially for cancer patients, so, just so much going on at the same time, um, you know, I keep hearing that she's falling. She keeps telling me, oh, I fell, I tripped, because when they removed um, some cancer, I think it was kind of in her groin area, they had to move one of the nerves so her leg's not working quite as well as it needs to be, which, of course, is an issue with driving as well. So, my goodness gracious, I just um, hope and pray that this new medicine she's starting on, there was a new medication called Yervoy that was... Um, released or uh, finally approved by the FDA. It's been in clinical trials for quite some time and it was just approved for use on patients um, outside of the clinical trial. So she starts on that, I think on the 28th. So um, just everyone's continued thoughts and prayers for her are greatly appreciated. And um, that's about it. I hope everybody's having a good day. Wear your sunscreen and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.